You'll learn true and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And uh, this week I talked a little bit about officers and recruiting already. And today I also want to talk a bit about recruit, in this case about faction recruit. And is it really worth it? If you want to have a look at it, you need to look at the top left of your screen. There's ships, officers, command, factions, items and refinery. And there you have to click officers. That's the second from the left. Then you get to the officers. And there on the top right, you also have to click recruit. Then we are in the recruit section. If you're wondering why I'm doing this step by step telling where to find things, I know that I have a lot of uh, people watching that are just starting the game. And uh, if you're playing for a longer time, you, you will know all that, but they really need this information to know how to get where. And that's why I'm including that in, in my videos. And if you scroll to the right, at some point you will get to Federation Recruit, Klingon Recruit and Romulan Recruit, depending on your reputation with the factions. If you don't see it, work on your reputation. In these, you can get certain offices, and we take a look here. If you have faction recruit tokens, in this case, it's federation recruit tokens. And with them, you can recruit a certain number of offices, and that's offices that are really helpful early in the game already. That's Kirk, Spock, Uhura, Bone, Scotty, Sulu, and Akadi. They are all from the, oh yeah, can I click that? From, from the same um, synergy group and um, the rates, the drop rates are there when you click this information button. You um, The drop rates are five shards, guaranteed uncommon or better and you have a 40% chance to get uncommon, 40% for rare and 20% for epic. But it's only these officers. How to get those tokens I get to a little bit later. In the Klingon section, we have Gorkon, Chang, Kerala, Azadbur, Koth, Voteln, and Morale. And the chances, the drop rates are the same. And for those, you need Klingon recruit tokens. And you see that I have too few at the moment. <laughs> and the third one is the Romulan recruit. And here we have Nero, Vemet, Kumak, Livis, Eryx, Vela, and Javade. And uh, those are the only ones you can get here. And the drop rate is also the same here, like with Federation and Klingons. And you see that I have enough to get some. But for them, of course, I need Romulan recruit tokens. And you really have to decide if it's worth it or not. In the beginning, it will be a thing you wait, 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 you really will think about this because we have to go out of here and completely out of the officer section and look at the top left again. And there's also factions. And if we click factions, that's where we can get these recruit tokens for each faction. You see that I have Federation recruit one in the top um, on the top there of the list and I get 500 for 100 Federation credits. That's the first one you can get. But there are different packages the higher you come with, a, um, with your reputation and you see that it's getting cheaper at the moment with Federation Recruit 2 where you can get 500 for 80. Then um, the next one where you can get 500 for 60 but they are limited. You cannot get an endless number of those. I will show you with a 60. If I get one, I get the tokens and then it's still there. So I can get another 500 pack with the tokens. And then it's still there. I can get a third pack with the tokens. And then it's gone and has a cooldown time of, of 22 hours because you can only pull them three times. The Elite Federation Recruit we talk about in a different video. Um, there are bigger packages now. The Federation Recruit 4 is 3000 of those tokens for 300 uh, credits. They are still gone because I took them last night. 
then there are 4,500 for 730 and 6,000 for 945 and uh, it will go up when we look at the Klingons. Uh, let's have a look if I have a bigger one with the Klingons because they, yeah, you have, um, no, no, the 6,000 I had, then I have 7,500 for 1,115 um, Klingon credits and it, it will get up when you um, get higher with the reputation. But in the beginning of, of the game, I didn't get them very often because the credits I needed for um, ship blueprints and stuff like this. So f for me personally, it wasn't worth it all the time to get those tokens and you see how many I could get right now. If I want to, I can get more of them, but I didn't do it because I need the, the, the credits for something else. At the stage of the game where I am now because of these officers, and I, I, I will show you that when we go back to officers and then to recruit, I'm at a, at a point in the game where I use them more than in the beginning. So let's go to the Federation. Because I have the maximum of shards you can get for most of these officers, as you can see. For Spock, Uhura, Bone, Scott, Yasulu and Akadi, I um, should have the maximum by now. And if I click on six chests now, so do the exchange for six chests, let's see what happens. And I often use them only for, for recruit events, but I also um, use them for something else. And if we open all, you see, because I have the, the rare officers already, if it pulls one of those officers, I don't get shards for them because that, there's no way to get more shards. I get those transporter patterns. You might have seen my transporter patterns video or the video um, that I made this week about uh, the new officers they added to the transporter pattern section. And so I only got eight Kirk shards and I guess he will be full with 800 as well. And I get transporter patterns. And it's, to be honest, for, for the pull I did, 525 is quite a few. Um, most of the times I get more than a thousand for, for one six chest pull. And that's why I'm uh, getting those tokens at the moment, to get transporter patterns, because there's there's there were officers I needed, there's now a new officer I need. And that is why I'm often using those faction recruit things now. But early in the game, you have to decide when officers are more important for you than ship blueprints, then you c can get these tokens to get officers faster that you need if they are in, in those lists. As, as I said, like Gorkin, which is uh, very good. If, if you still don't have Gorkin, um, when, when you are approaching the time you need to go to, to hunt freebooters, that will be a good time to get Gorkin this way, by, uh, for example. Or if you still have no Chancellor at all for your way teams, that might be a thing to get Gorkin or Azad Boer here. But it's completely up to you. As I said, I didn't use it in the beginning because blueprints were more important for me. But that's a decision you have to make for yourself. And later now, I'm using it more because of the transporter patterns, because I can handpick officers that I still need. And uh, that is quite an important thing for me at the moment as well to, to um, complete my officers or to upgrade certain officers. If you have anything to add to what I said about Federation, Klingon and Romulan recruit, please leave a comment. And if you have questions or requests for videos, please also do a comment. You just saw my treasury is full. Yeah, you think it's a good sign, but uh, no. As you also can see on the top, I only got 2000 broken desealing rods. I need 4000. So I will not be able to open the treasury this month because um, I'm not buying a desealing rod. I wait until I have my 4,000 broken desealing rods again, so I will have to wait a little bit longer. But that got me astray again, but it reminded you of the treasury. There is a video on the treasury and how that works, by the way, in, in one of my playlists. So 
I was with a comment. So even if you just want to say hi or where you're from, I'm always happy to hear where my viewers come from because I know that they are from all over the planet. I know that about half of my viewers is from the United States. So knowing the areas where you're from is also very interesting because the United States is a very big country. And I know um, the viewers that are, I know the number of viewers that comes from the USA, but not where they come from within the USA. And I'm quite a curious person and interested in stuff like that. And if you want to see a different video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.